now the topic before us is getting started with math in python arithmetic operators in our daily life we have already used most of the arithmetic operators which will we now discuss arithmetic operators in python are the fundamental symbols used in python for performing mathematical computations that is for mathematical computations we use arithmetic operators the common arithmetic operators are we will discuss these arithmetic operators most of the operators at arithmetic operators we have already used in our life such as addition subtraction multiplication then division we have also discussed exponentiation which is also called power raised to the power the arithmetic operators which we may not have learnt are modulo operator which is like percentage sign in mathematics it it is in a python it is a arithmetic operator and is known as modulo then there is floor division it is division this is floor division here in case of division we have one slash and in case of floor division we have two backward slash now we will discuss each of these arithmetic operators one by one addition it combines two numbers suppose we have a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 then what is the sum it is a plus b then we will use the code editor that is in we will be using vs code and here there we will be using print function and what will be the output we already know that when two numbers are added when 5 will be added to 6 you already know what will be the result we can also get this result by way of vs code editor or python code editor and the result will be 6 uh, 11 5 plus 6 11 then subtraction this is the another arithmetic operator it finds the difference between two numbers if we have a is equal to 10 and b is 5 then what is the difference difference is 10 minus 5 we can also calculate it as print difference and in then the output will be 5 then another arithmetic operator is multiplication here we multiply two values or two numbers and what is the result it is the output suppose a is 10 b is 5 then what is the output we use print function a multiplied b and the output will be 50 then there is division function a uh, division operator it performs regular division resulting in a floating point number floating point number means this number say this type number this is decimal and after that there is something more this is the whole number or integer if we write this two or three this these are integers 
these are floating numbers 2.5 3.6 4.6 these are floating numbers here if we have a is equal to 8 then in case of b we have 4 then what will be the print a divided by b what will be the output 8 divided by 4 output will be 4 then floor division this is the new concept this new this may be the new concept for you this is the floor division operator in earth uh, python floor division in arithmetic operation divides two numbers and rounds the result down to the nearest integer suppose if we divide 8 by 3 we are here doing do, uh, using division operator we are dividing 8 by 3 what will be the result it may be just like this one 2.6661 or something like that but if we use floor division what will be the output print a floor division b then what will be the output no doubt we will be dividing 8 by 3 but here what is after decimal that is this part will not be taken into consideration and only we will take 2 that is it the this value will be brought down to the nearest integer brought down not upward normally what happens in mathematics that when a value ex in symbol uh, in decimals exceeds 50 point then the next is taken into consideration say 3 but in case of flow division what is done that we ignore this part which is after decimal we brought the this value down to the nearest integer downward suppose if there is negative value 8 and we are using flow division that is a is minus 8 b is 3 and we are using flow division what will happen then in that case no doubt 2.667 will come and it will be in minus but here we will brought it down to minus 3 why it is not minus 2 we understand the same with the help of an example suppose this is 1 this is 2 this is 2.667 here we have brought it down to 2 in case of division in case of flow division this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 2.667 this is minus 3 here this point so here we will be bringing the we will be opting for that integer which is downward to 2.667 here the downward is nearest integer which is the downward is minus 3 so we have selected this number in flow division because the flow division rounds the result down to the nearest integer. In case of simple division, we had brought it down to 2, but in case of negative value of a, we have brought it down to minus 3. Next is, next is modulo operator. One of the arithmetic operators in Python is modulo. It is just like percentage symbol in mathematics which we normally use it returns the remainder after a division operation what it means 
सपोज ए इज एटीन बी इज फोर वेन वी डिवाइड एटीन बाय फोर वट इज रिमाइंडर दिस इज रिमाइंडर टू इज रिमाइंडर विच हैज लेफ्ट सो वट विल वी गेट वेन वी विल यूज प्रिंट फंक्शन अलोंग विथ मोड्यूलो ऑपरेटर प्रिंट ए मोड्यूलो बी द आउटपुट विल बी टू बिकॉज हेयर वी विल बी गेटिंग ओनली रिमाइंडर वट हैज बीन लेफ्ट आफ्टर एक्सपोनशियन यू हैव ऑलरेडी यूज दिस हाउ द वर्डिंग मे बी डिफरेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू की टू रेज टू दावर थ्री this is power raised to the power it raises a number to a power it is written as in this symbol suppose base is equal to 2 power is 3 what is the result base raised to the power so we will using print function print result then what we will be getting 2 raised to power 3 and we will be getting 8 now we will be using we will be learning about precedence chart for arithmetic operators what it means it means that in a sequence or we are having a mathematical equation in python suppose this one may be 7 divided by 2 divided by uh, then floor division 3 multiplied 4 minus 2 plus 1 this type of equation may be there in python now how the python will handle this for this purpose there is precedence chart that is it guides us or python which symbol or which arithmetic operator is to be firstly so taken into consideration that is whether this is to be considered first whether this point is to be solved whether we are to solve from right whether we are to start solving the equation or the python interpreter will solve the equation from left side so there is a precedence chart precedence chart for arithmetic operators first is exponential that is first of all we will solve this it will be from it will be evaluated from right to left that is in a equation there may be this situation 2 raised to power 3 and then there may be in the same line it may be written this type 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 how we will be solving it we will be solving from right to left that is first we will be take solve this part and then we will be solving this part then the precedence chart which comes after exponential is multiplication division floor division modulus operator modulo operator that is these four here we will be evaluating from left to right that is if in a, a, a given equation these operators have been used at different places then we will be or the python operator will solve that equation from left to right that is from left to right it will go on solving if these type of uh, arithmetic operators have been used in an equation then next 
in the line of precedence chart is addition and subtraction and that is also from left to right one thing which is very important is that if there are parentheses that is these brackets are there it will take the first place that is you will have to ignore all these firstly you will take into consideration parentheses if there is an in an equation or if there is an in, in an equation parentheses have been used the python approach a python operator a python a vs code will first solve this parenthesis what is the value contained in parenthesis parenthesis can be used to override these default order of operations this is the default order that is we will have to follow these this chart but when in the equation parenthesis have been used at any place in the equation then the vs code or the code editor will first take into consideration this part where parenthesis have been used we will understand the same with the help of examples suppose we have a variable name result in which we have stored the value 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 now how we will solve this or how the python interpreter will interpret this as already told that in case of exponentiation we will have to move from right to left that is firstly we will solve this part 3 raised to power 2 what it becomes it becomes 9 3 raised to power 2 it becomes 9 so now what it is the result then it becomes 2 raised to power 9 because when we have solved this part then 2 raised to power 9 and ultimately the output will be 512 that is we will have to multiply 2 9 times suppose we have a another variable result where the information stored is or the value stored is 20 floor division 3 multiplied by 2 modulo 5 now what will we be doing or how the python interpreter will interpret it as already told that in case of symbols like division floor division multiplication we will be moving from or the python interpreter will be solving that equation with the uh, from left to right first 20 floor division 3 when 20 floor division 3 it becomes 6 because floor division ignores what will come after when we will be dividing 20 by 6 20 by 3 it will become 6 point something six point six 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 seven something like that figure but the floor division as already told will ignore what is after decimal because floor division brings down the integer down to the nearest integer the result will be brought down to the nearest integer so here though when we divide 20 by 3 it will result into 6.667 but the floor division will bring the result down to 6 next we will be solving that this part 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू नाउ वी विल बी मल्टीप्लाइंग सिक्स विथ टू वट इट विल बिकम इट विल बिकम ट्वेल्व नाउ नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव अराइव एट दिस पोजिशन ट्वेंटी मोड्यूलो ट्वेल्व मोड्यूलो फाइव वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ मोड्यूलो एज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड मोड्यूलो ऑपरेटर गिवस द रिजल्ट ऑफ रिमाइंडर वट इज लफ आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग वन फिगर विद अनदर हेयर वी विल डिवाइडिंग ट्वेल्व बाय फाइव वट इज द रिमाइंडर रिमाइंडर इज टू सो हेयर द आउटपुट विल बी द पाइथन इंटरप्रेटर विल गिव द रिजल्ट एज टू दिस विल बी द रिजल्ट नेक्स्ट suppose there is another variable with the same name and here parenthesis has been used now how the python interpreter or our vs code will interpret it here the python interpreter or we will firstly have to solve this part but here we are uh, as solving uh, taking into consideration the aspect of python we will rather say that the python interpreter will interpret it as firstly it will solve parenthesis what is inside the parenthesis 20 plus 4 become 24 then it will subtract minus uh, subtract 3 from it and the output will be 21 so the python interpreter will give the result of 21 now we will be doing the practice of arth matic operator on our vs code which is a known or an important or a popular code editor for python now we are making use of visual studio code so that we may do some practice of arithmetic operators so we will here use print function 2 2 we will give command and here you will see in terminal 2 plus 2 output is 4 now we use another print 6 minus 2 we run and the answer is 4 next we now divide 5 by 2 and run you will see that the result is 2.5 print 6 divided by here this backward slash is the division operator division mathematic operator so here the result will be or the output will be 3 3.0 if you do not want the result to be in floating number you may use float division print 6 float division 2 the output will be 3 here when you had used division operator the output was in floating number that is 3.0 and when you used float a uh, float division the output was in integer so now we again use two exponentiation two two raised to power two so what is the output you will see here 2 raised to power 2 is 4 next print 4 raised to power 3 it means 4 into 4 into 4 so when we use print uh, we use the run the output is 64 print 
modulo 2 so what is will be the output you have learned that in case of modulo operator the modulo operator returns what is remainder here the 7 will be divided by 2 and what will be the remainder it will be the 1 so let us see what the python interpreter interprets it is 1 you can see here it is 1 next is print 5 plus 2 multiply 3 minus 1 plus 20 divided by 5 so how the python will interpret it we have already learnt about the precedence operator precedence chart for the arithmetic operator in which exponentiation or the raised to power was to be given the first priority followed by division flow division multiplication and at the last bar addition and subtraction so here what will happen here you can see that 5 plus 2 addition and subtraction is the least will come in the least le have least priority so we write it as it is 5 plus 2 here 5 we will write only 5 plus here 2 into 3 it will be become 6 2 into 3 is to be given first priority because multiplication is to be given first priority then comes minus here minus 1 plus here 20 is to be divided by 5 it is to be given the priority because multiplication and division have the same priority so it becomes 4 now what becomes before us 5 plus 6 11 minus 1 10 plus 4 14 so let us see what is the output here you can see that it is 14.0 as already told here the result will be in floating numbers so now here we will be using a is equal to 8 this is a variable which has the value 8 another variable is 2 here we will be using print function a plus b you already know the result what will be the output a plus b that is 8 plus 2 what will be the output 8 plus 2 is 10 so we have here understood how the arithmetic operators like addition subtraction division then modulo operator multiplication and power uh, actually work in the vs code or code editor or how the python interpreter interprets all these arithmetic operators thanks for watching if you like our course please share some time to give a star rating to our course